welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. And now it is the return of an empties. You might think, Sham, we actually don't see these often. You see them every six months, guys. And the reason I do that is because I think you get all of your spring summer goodies out of the way, and then you get your autumn winter. So I tend to do these March and I believe August. So August you get all my spring summer favourites to maybe give you some hints for the next year. And then in March I have my autumn winter favourites. So this is an accumulation of six months. And there's quite a lot of stuff in here guys, I can't lie. And this is the stuff that I have remembered to keep. We have a bag in the shed which is a good old Tesco's Christmas bag, funny or not. And whenever I get something to an empty that I really do enjoy, I'm like, it needs to go in the bag because I obviously need to tell you guys about it. You know what we're going to see in there. We're going to have some toiletries. We're going to have, I think there's some food and drink bits in there. There's some essentials. There's some candles that I was loving through those months, which, yes, there are candles burning even now. You're probably thinking, Sham, we're in March. But guys, it's cold. It may not be windy and rainy, but it's still cold. So I've got all my candles on. And the heating has just gone off. I'm like, you know what? Maybe we need to save the bills a little and uh, put some candles on. So I've just lit a Simply Sweet Pea Yankee Candle, a new one. I haven't actually tried that one. And then after this, I will be having the big task of dumping all of it in a recycling bag because mum's like, Shan, the shed is getting a little bit filled again. And I'm like, I know, but I'm doing my part. I'm decluttering. We're getting this out and it's all to show you guys what I've been loving. And who knows, there might be a few things on there that we've been loving together. Or if there's anything that you think you know what, Sham, for this autumn and winter, that's what you need to try. Let me know down below. But I'm not going to sit here and rib it rabbit. We know how this goes. I literally pull everything and anything out of these bags. And let's see our empty favourites for the autumn winter season. Right. So they're not going to be in any particular order, guys. I'm literally just pulling them out. I know when I first done this, I split it into like skincare toiletries, but it's not a manageable way. I can't like guys, it's not manageable. So it's literally like a pick of the mix. Some of the stuff will be duplicates and you'll start to see which things I have an obsession with and that I actually can't live life with that. Starting off with, you see these in pretty much every haul. And if you saw my, what I got for Christmas, Dan got me another three boxes all taped together like a little cracker. And that, my lovelies, is spectacle and lens wipes. You get 52 for one pound. One pound. You can get these. I only thought you could get these before at Savers, but most of the bargain shops do them now. So Panland, good old home bargains, um, still Savers. I think B&M will do them. And I think I have seen them in Tesco. But Tesco, you're paying about 150 165 if I remember. So, mm-mm. <coughs> oh goodness gracious sorry about that guys i feel there's a few things in here that are dusty so i feel i'm gonna get a little bit of dust on me um 52 wipes one for every week of the year i mean these don't last me long 52 i religiously go through maybe two or three a day and then depending what i'm actually doing i might go through so i could go through like one of these boxes in maybe a month just under but an essential essential to my life a few candles here you know the majority of my candles will come from nowhere else apart from tk maxx and home sense and they're either going to be one of three brands they're either going to be a yankee they're going to be a dw home or a sand and fog this one my lovelies is actually a dw home but it's a charming farmhouse branch now i don't know if you've noticed but with dw home at the moment they seem to be branching in all different like mini collections some are branching on the sand and fog vibe with like the uh wooden lid and a little bit of inscription but yes i do love this this is the charming house and it was pumpkin pie I don't tend to inhale it too close because it's obviously burnt to the core and it's quite burny smell. But you can still get the pumpkin pie. This, you know why I would have bought this. I love the container. I love the little ribbon. I love everything about it. And this was $8.99, which four candles at TK Maxx and HomeSense. If you get ones that are like maybe a bit more quirkier, you will pay a little more. But you can normally pick them up for like $5.99, $6.99. But... There's a few here that I just got a little carried away with. Mmm. I don't think Lush do this anymore. I need to have a look if they do. Because 
This was goals. This is mimosa, guys. Now, I know you're probably thinking in autumn and winter, Shan, you were supposed to be loving all of your pumpkin pie and your cinnamon. But when we branch into the new year, I did want a bit of a fruity scent. And this mimosa is heaven. Like, even part of me is looking at that and think, I could get one more tiny little bubble bath out of that. <laughs> I love this smell so much. So it says, brunch babes unite. Enjoy bottomless bubbles made with a blend of mimosa flower, absolute, and a dash of fresh orange juice. This, lovely. You will pay about 12 to 14 pound for these at the moment at Lush. I don't know why their mini bottles seem to have crept up slightly. I noticed it when I done the, um, looking at Valentine's Day bits. Oh! <gasps> Oh, I completely forgot. Sorry, guys. I just had a total mind blank. But yes, do love a little bit of mimosa and do love a bit of Lush. There will be a running theme here. Lush is coming through too. This is probably what you're expecting if I've been doing it through me winter months. The Body Shop Vanilla Pumpkin. Now, guys, I don't know about you. It's not even focusing. I was gutted to hear that The Body Shop went into administration. I mean, I don't know the ins and outs, whether they'll be bought out or what will happen. But The Body Shop can't go from the high street. The body shop just can't go from online. It can't go. I know I used to be in body shop regularly because you used to get these little bottles for a fiver. Then the prices started to slowly creep up and I didn't feel for what I was getting in there, I could want the price of it. Um, don't get me wrong, when they have sales and everything or when they do like the seasonal bits, I would be there to get it. But I don't, I don't see that being like just, I can't see it being like a Woolworths and going. Let me know your thoughts down below, but I think Body Shop needs to be on there because Lush doesn't do... Lush is more bath bombs and it does like your shower gels and your bits of skincare, whereas Body Shop is... Obviously, they do skincare, but their main thing is like the shower gels, the hand creams and everything like that. So, it would be a horrible shame to see it go, but I don't, I don't think that's the end of Body Shop. And I don't think it would maybe be renamed because it's iconic. Everyone knows the Body Shop. <laughs> If I'm going to offend you now, please click over. But there is a lot of Batiste in here, guys. Batiste is life. You know me. I colour my hair random colours all the time. And I can't be bothered. Don't have the time. And mum's sick of my poor bath getting stained with all of the hair dye. So dry shampoo for me is life. And there's many bottles throughout here. All different styles. Because Batiste is the way to go. This is not sponsored. But Batiste, if you're watching... Hook a girl up because I spend a small fortune every month on my old dry shampoo. The one that I've got here is the Overnight Deep Cleanse. Now, this is the one. Canon. There we go. This is the one that you spray in just before bed. So, I will spray this all in. Put my hair in like a messy bun. Leave it overnight. Take it down. Give it a brush. I mean, it wouldn't be as curly as this. But you get a fresh looking hair. And, um, yes, I absolutely love it. And I think... I have offended many people with my lack of hair wash and my frequent use of dry shampoo, but I have more important things to do with the hours of my day, my lovelies, than washing my hair. So I did have a pamper last night. Mother Nature, she has well and truly arrived, and I thought, you know what, I know I'm going to be feeling meh, so let's have a nice pamper last night. So I had bath, I had face mask, I had hair wash, and I got mum to plait it for me, and it's come out like a little curly whirly suit so i was like you know what you look a little bit put together kind of we're still like makeup free we're embracing the natural skin because when mother nature arrives she also brings a few friends with her hmm i would like them friends to go pronto thank you right i need to find this apparently boots have stopped doing this then i get told it's back then i get told that super drug do it I can't find it. Guys, if anyone knows where I can get the Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath with Pure Epsom Salt, the Relax and Relief, which is Eucalyptus and Spearmint, please let me know down below. This is £10 for a litre. You might think that's ridiculous. Look at Cousins in um, Home Bargains. You can get 10 bottles for that. But it says it relaxes the body and relieves the mind, nourishes the skin and long-lasting bubbles gently cleanse. That's everything to a tea, guys. When I pour this in, if I've got one of them days where I've had a headache or you just feel that it's just too much and you just need to stress or I want to go and have a read in the bath, this would be my go-to. The smell of it, I love spearmint, eucalyptus, tea tree oil, all of that jazz. That's a bit of me. So this, 
I'm very sad that I used it all up. Like, I was using it sparingly, guys. Like, normally, you know me with stuff. I'm like, that I used sparingly. And unfortunately, Elite though did last six months. So I can't lie. I can't lie about that. But, yeah, I just wish I, wish I had unlimited supply. Oh, goodness gracious. Let me put my phone on silent. I do apologise there, guys. It was so rude. Right. Another candle. Again, this was from TK Maxx Home since eight ninety nine. Now, I don't believe this is DW Home. I don't actually know the brand of this. But, again, you will know why I went with it. It has a recipe on the front and it has a little wooden spoon. And this was Peach Cobbler. Oh, actually, guys, it's on top. It's the Charming Farmhouse again. So, it was the same section of DW Home as the Pumpkin Pie. Oh, I love that. Peach Cobbler gives you your ingredients and everything. I might actually take a picture of this recipe and do it because i know i've done a peach cobbler before but this looks like a peach cobbler pie do you see what i mean guys it's almost like a pie i thought a cobbler was like um crumble type but yeah candles dw home i'm all here for it oh look here we go We've got another couple of dry shampoos here we have the dry shampoo tropical exotic coconut and the love is love irresistible peach i don't think they do the love is love anymore which I'm not quite happy about. I like that one. So this one is normally about a fiver because it's the deep cleanse. And these little ones you can normally pick up about £2.83. I do normally have the big ones. But guys, the big ones are going up to like almost six quid. So unless they go on offer, which sometimes they go down to about £3.75, I'll do a stock up. But the little ones, I'm just like, Whoa. I know everything's going up, but hey ho. We have a little bit of a shampoo, as I say, because when I do go to wash my hair, it's normally either Garnier or Tresemme. Tresemme, I will only use if my hair colour is coming to an end, because Tresemme and Pantene Pro-V, I think it is, I've been told are like some of the worst for the colour strippers. So this is one that I've kind of been using because it is fading a bit, but it is getting redone. Because you see these roots? Yes, they're terrible, okay? They are terrible. And I want a bit of a freshen up. So we are having a refresh next week. So hopefully by Easter, the content, I won't be looking like this. I'll actually have nice fresh blue hair again. But this was the Tresemme Replenish and Cleanse. Uh, one wash deeply cleanses and purifies. This was just the shampoo. Now, the only thing is, Tresemme, I can't find, do a two-in-one. Mum loves her two in one. She used to use Pantene all the time. And then I think she went to Head and Shoulders. I like my Garnier's, the shampoo and the conditioner, and then the hair mask. They're what I like. Or Maui. You've got to get them when they're on a deal, though, because they are pricey. I feel like Treasure May, that big bottle may have been a fiver, but what's that? 900 mil. So I don't think you can crumble. I think Mum's got a Treasure May conditioner out there. And then she'll just get like a random shampoo, whatever she finds to go with it. But yeah, I either use Maui or Garnier. They're like my two go-tos for hair products. Oh. Listerine. Now, I... Oh, has something just leaked? I think it just leaked. Oopsie. Let's just um, wipe that. Thank goodness I'm in black joggers. <laughs> we might have to stand you up on the side actually because I don't want you leaking anywhere else. This was the Listerine Advanced uh, Gum Treatment. Now, I've got a love and hate with this. It was good. I'm just going to put it down here, guys. Um, however, I get very, very worried with Listerine because I used it... Now, when... So I started my gum treatment oh, September, October... And I used this probably, so I'd used it before, no problems. After I had my gum treatment, I think it must have been around Christmas time. And I used that, and I sometimes get carried away when I have mouthwash. And you only start some mouthwash, I think, for about a minute. Something like that, if it's strong, about a minute, I think. And I'd done it, but then I got carried away and I was doing something, and I thought, oh, God, no, like, I need to spit out. And when I spat and looked at my thing... When I tell you my gums had receded, oh my goodness, I thought my teeth were going to fall out. And I probably think that that was a bad choice because I just had all of the planing and everything done on them. And I was like, oh, oh God, no. <laughs> like, yeah. 
what have I done? I got to the point where you have palpitations and you start like hyperventilating, being like, oh, I think my teeth are going to fall out. Um, a little update on the gum front. My gums are a lot better. There's still a recession. They can't build your gums back up. I can always look into laser treatment. But the only thing with that that I worry about is with the laser treatment, they have to put, in essence, like a needle in your gum and they, in essence, rip the gum away from the bottom and then they, like, stretch it up. Now, that's fine and the results have proven to work. I am that person that thinks, what if my gum never reattaches? Because I have loose gums as it is. I have to be really careful. And they're slowly getting stronger with, let's say, all of the preventatives. But I think, what if I had that done and the gums just never like stuck back to the teeth because they've literally they have to put the thing in and then like pull it up so at the moment i'm just sticking with hygienist appointments and i'm gonna have a look on my review as to when mm, with the treatment i'm not entirely sure i know my gums will never be great and i <laughs> i make a joke with my mum like i'm just gonna go get them all knocked out and just have all veneers put in and then it doesn't matter if I've got gums because they're probably going to be screwed and bolted into my face but she says no and also it's quite spenny spenny so I'm going to make do with my fangs that I have at the moment that was another thing I was looking at getting um composite bonding because you know I have fangs but the people close to me are like your fangs are you will you just leave them be so I'm like we'll see who knows but that I would say it's good. However, if you do have gum problems, that's what I was trying to get to, I probably wouldn't use Listerine. The one that I'm using and have been using since my treatment started is a Colgate Peroxil. It's called Peroxil. It's a £5 from Boots. Get it from Boots because my dentist stung me almost a tenner. Mm -hmm. um, and have that. And that I find it doesn't recede the gums as much you can see it gets and does what it needs to do but it just it's a lot more softer and not as like argumentative for the gums well my gums anyway that's what's going on a complete tangent there guys we have of course another brand a bit like batiste that i absolutely love in my life femme fresh for all your womanly needs and to stay fresh on the go and there's all different various products that you can get from femme fresh you can get sprays you get your washes you get your talc you get shaving creams there's loads but i tend to go for either the spray so this is canon there we go this is the daily deodorant they do one also with a gray lid which is like um one if you're more active or you're going to the gym and that so i mixture between them two and then a soothing wash Again, I fluctuate between this one and the clear peach bottle. It's just because it's like pH balance free. It doesn't give any irritation because sometimes we can be a little bit sensitive in that area. And we definitely don't want anything causing any aggro because the last thing you need is problems. So I love Femme Fresh, as I say. I very kindly, I think it was a few years back, had a PR parcel sent from them with their uh, new range of bits and bobs, like uh, the new soothing wash and the new spray. And I was like, oh my God. Femme Fresh contacted me, but honestly, guys, I've been using them probably well over a decade now. Like, I absolutely love them, and they're the only one. I've tried other brands. I tried one. I can't remember for the life of me. It was a red bottle, and it was about, I want to say close to 30 quid. Lulu? It was watermelon scented, if I remember. It just didn't work, and for that price, I'm like, hmm, absolutely not. What else have we got in here? What else? Oh, I'll put a little air freshener in it. I really hope this comes out this summer, guys. It's the Glade Limited Edition Sparkling Watermelon. Watermelon and pink sugar. This was delish. Is there any left in? No. No, that's a shame. Love that. Get it from Home Bargains. What, a quid? 120 And then... Cousins, cousins, however you say it, I know people get very irritated at my pronunciation and I had another comment to say it's cousins, not cousins and I'm just like, you guys know what I mean when I say things, you have been with me long enough to know that I might say things a little weird sometimes, but cousins, cousins, I would say cousins, because I think I look at cousins, how you spell cousins and, but that's just me, so cousins creations, which I think are the ones that bought that imperial leather, or they're along the same brand you guys told me. Driving Gnome for Christmas. This was a gorgeous scent. And again, I'm looking at this, guys, and I'm thinking, 
I might be able to get like one teeny tiny drip out because oh this was a cotton candy in winter berries soap and it's literally like you've dunked your head in a slush puppy that's how i uh, describe it do you reckon i could get another little one <laughs> you know waste not what not guys things are going up you've got to get every little word uh, bit out for your last penny inch up right what have we got here oh <gasps> naughty naughty there's a little bottle of alcohol in here mm -hmm. sorry guys i thought i got sunk in my eye um you will know i love these you get them from home bargains five for three pound fifty by the brand silk and these are the rose cream liqueurs yes i may partake in them they're basically like a irish cream based drink very similar to tequila rose basically um Think of Bailey's strawberries and cream. That's what silk is. Again, I'm going to put you over there because I don't want any leakage. But they are a firm favourite. I haven't actually seen them in home bargains the last few months. All I've seen are like the uh, test tube shots because obviously they're coming into summer. So I definitely feel like you will see a lot more on the um, shot front game, let's just say. What have we got here? Oh, good old face wipes. As I say, I am moving away from face wipes. I do tend to use my cloths with my micellar waters and everything a lot more regularly. But... They're really good just to have. So, of course, the only place that I get them from is Primark, guys. I've got the PS Pink Grapefruit Facial Cleansing ones. And then I've also got the, the Micella, just the plain ones. You get two for £1.30. And as I say, they're so handy just to chuck in when maybe you've done your cloth and you just need that last bit. Or you actually can't be bothered to do a full routine of taking it off. So, you literally scrub your skin to life with a face wipe and think, you know what? I'm going to deal with the rest of it in the morning. And that's how it's going to go. That is how it's going to go. I am just going to go and quickly get a drink because I realise I've been waffling off for way too long. And then when we come back, you can see even more goodies that I've been loving. And uh, I need to get a recycling bag. <laughs> right. So, another one very similar to the Dr. Teal's is Radox. I absolutely love the Radox brand. And Stress Relief, this again is Minerals Rosemary but with the Eucalyptus. Anything with that, I'm sold. This one's a bit more stronger though. This is more powerful, whereas the Dr. Teal's is very subtle. I think the big ones like this are about 253 quid. Because they're a litre. Yeah, they're a litre again. So again, when you compare it to Dr. Teal's, you, if they was three quid, you could get three for the price of one. But that is a little bit stronger. They also do the red one, which I think is muscle soak. Oh, one minute Dada's calling. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I've got, just had to order him KFC. <laughs> he was like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm in the middle of filming. He's like, order me food. I'm like, okay. Right. Another few bits. I, Soap and Glory. Soap and Glory are an old school thing of mine, which I resonate Soap and Glory like with secondary school. Do you remember when everyone would have Soap and Glory like anti-backs and hand creams and it was the times of like Sanctuary Spa and Ted Baker? You may see a few of them returning as well. I just love the overall and you would always get three for two at Christmas on boots. So this was the summer scrubbing cooler fruity. I believe I went into boots a couple of weeks ago and there's a new one and I feel it's like papaya. It smelled gorgeous and I looked at it and I was like, no Shan, don't because you've got to run all your stuff down. I'm thinking, oh, I could just get like a new, but I couldn't just get like say the body wash. I'd have to get the scrub and the hand wash and everything like that. So no, I done good. I stepped away. But yeah, Soap and Glory, again, such a old throwback. And talking of throwback, Sanctuary Spa. This is what I mean. These are probably from bits that I got at Christmas. You know, when you get the big sets, your star gifts at Boots, as they say. This is Sanctuary Spa, the bar float of boabab and vitamin e of the sanctuary signature scent and i love this again guys i think i need to start using right down to the last bit i seem to get a little bit and then leave it this is a very fresh one and i love this because it has beads in it that are almost like little exfoliant beads again you get them in sets i think if you buy them separately they could be a bit spenny spenny on the older sanctuary spa maybe seven eight pound for something like that but Christmas time, August bank holidays, Easter, any times that Boots have these star gifts or offers, check them out because, as I say, definitely, definitely worth it. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, actually, I lied. Now, 
mm, I'm hit and miss with this one, guys. So I did try another hair care brand, OGX. And I did love it at the beginning. And I think I featured it on a monthly favourites because at the beginning it was fine. As I started to get fully into it, I didn't really tell a difference in my hair. And I don't know why, but I don't like the shape of these bottles because it's really hard to get everything out. And you might think, Shan, you're being dramatic, but you can't actually like squeeze down here. I know this brand OGX do loads of different colours, formulas, styles, everything like that. But I went for the Thick and Full Biotin and Collagen. And I think, again, these may be about seven or eight pounds on their own. I obviously would have gotten when they was on an offer because I wouldn't be paying all that amount for hair care. I mean, the amount that I wash my hair, it doesn't warrant it for me. I think mum said to me, if you was just like a normal colour, you wouldn't have problems. Like, you'd wash it, you could chop it. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't want that. I like having my bright hair colours. And I'm very undecided for this year what I want to do. So normally, for like February, March, I have a change. But I'm having a reboost of the blue because I have actually really loved the blue, guys. I don't know about you. I know it's been a little bit hit and miss. But I have really, really enjoyed having the blue. And I was like, you know what? I want to be blue a little bit longer. I think I'm going to have a change maybe around May or June time. Um, and then it will be potentially either another refresh before holiday. Or will I go back to ombre? Because I've actually never been on holiday with a coloured hair. It worries me because I think, oh my goodness, like if it's freshly done, I won't be able to go in the pool like the chlorine. I won't be able to go into the sea. I need to look into that. If you have dyed hair, guys, and go on holiday, let me know, like, is it a minimum time? Like, so you can go in once your hair's been coloured like a month. Or let me know if there's any, like, do's or don'ts with having coloured hair on holiday. Because I would hate to have a colour go in and then, like, my hair turn yellow or something because the chlorine or the salt's got in it, you know? Um, so I don't know, I might be ombre for St. Lucia, I might be a colour for St. Lucia, no one knows. But this, I would say, was great at the beginning for me, but didn't really come through at the end. But if it was on offer and I had it there, I'd still pick it up. You know me, guys, I'd still pick it up. Another candle. This one, Yankee. Perfect pumpkin. I actually, I remember, the only thing with this one, the lid was a bit funny. Oh, it just smells gorgeous. Oh, can we go back to autumn, please? I want my pumpkin pie. I don't know what it is, guys. I don't know if it's because it's Mother Nature today. But I went into the kitchen and I have um, the little mould wine set that one of you lovelies got me for Christmas. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> I could actually crack open a mould wine today. That's bad, ain't it? My PT would not be happy if I drank a whole bottle of mould wine. But part of me is thinking, like, your body is crying out for it. Just give your body what it wants. So I think tonight with dinner, I might actually crack open the mulled wine. Yeah. Who knows how that's going to go, eh, guys? But, um, yeah, I've been absolutely loving mulled wine. For me, is just everything. Now, I feel like I've got more from this collection. Have I? Yes, I've actually got a lot from this collection, guys. Oh, I have got a lot. Look. Smile. This is the Dead Sea collection from Home Bargains. And when I tell you this is value for money, this is value for money. So the first one is the Mineral Body Wash in Coconut. You get a litre for £2. £2. And when I tell you I love this, I love this. Absolutely hands down. And it lasts forever and then these two are also a litre again two quid actually these might be 220 or it might have been that they're all under £2.50 for the litre but this is the almond vanilla bubble bath and then the cherry blossom they also do lavender but you know me i'm not really a lavender girl so i've gone for everything but lavender however if you go into your home parkings give them a go it's not just the bubble baths and the body wash they do um a scrub they do a body cream there is so much they do body oils really really do highly recommend that if you go into home parkings guys another sanctuary spa with jojoba beads body wash body wash as i say this has definitely been from like some form of a gift or anything because I wouldn't be paying spending spending money like that, trust me. What have we got? Kusan's Cousins Be Happy Limited Edition Hand Wash Orange Blossom and Lemon Drops. Now I do love this brand at spring summer because they bring out the cutest designs. 
You would have seen in the last Hamburgins haul, I got a um, panda bath soak. And this is obviously all your bees. So I'm hoping they do bring this out. Again, I'm going to put you up because I feel like you might have leaked. We definitely don't need hand wash leaking all over the bed, guys. That's for sure. What have we got here? Ah, okay. So you know sometimes like you'll brush your teeth, you'll do your mouth wash, your floss and everything like that. And sometimes you just want to feel a little bit fresher. But you don't always want to have chewing gums, la la la. This in essence is a chewing gum, but it's good for your teeth. So in essence it cleans your teeth as you chew. It is the CB12 uh, X Little Chewing Gum. A boosting gum of 10 pieces with zinc and fluoride. Now, I think if I remember correctly, I got this from Boots along with a mouthwash because, you know, before my gum things, I was trying all different mouthwashes and all different bits and bobs to see, like, what I could go for, what I didn't like. And as I say, when I went to the dentist, she said about Listerine, I was like, mm, I'd rather not go there. Like, Colgate, I never had a problem with, but that I'd like to stay away from. And she also recommended me these when I was there because she said, you know what? Sometimes chewing gum, normal chewing gum, actually damages your teeth because it can take off enamel, I think that is, or something. It can do something to your teeth where you're constantly chewing it and like it just abrases your teeth. I'm trying to think the word she told me that. Whereas this one, it's almost like the top of it is like little bobble bits. And then when you chew it, it in essence, it will clean and it keeps like no harm to your teeth. I think for 10 bits, this was about fiver and the math which i think is about 12 so yeah again a very good little brand if you are into gum and maybe don't want to be damaging your teeth this again home bargains 99p this is for 950 mil astonish the refreshing yalang alang bliss yalang alang yalang alang i love saying that word yalang alang oh i've got another one you can tell I do love uh, my old home bargains, don't I? This is the Pampering Pink Paradise. This one was a bit more of a floral one. You know me, I'm not really a floral person. I'm more citrus, but I delve into it every now and again. Oh, another one. Another one. Spectacle wipes, as I say. Spectacle wipes are life. And as I say, I've only got two here, but you can guarantee <laughs> there was a lot that have gone out in the six months to the recycling man, of which I forgot to put in the bag because they are a necessity to go. Another candle. Ah, oh, sad and fog. You also know with me and candles, especially sand and fog, I love to keep the lids. They are just so intricate, so gorgeous, and half the time, they're the reason that I buy the candles, because I like the lids. This one was $7.99, and it's Sand and Fog Cinnamon Knoll. But just look at that, merry and bright, and there's quite a few that I have kept over the years. Oh, that's it, guys. I'm cracking open my wine tonight. <laughs> I can't be looking at all this stuff and not... This, I've actually got quite a few lids that you'll see like through Easter and Halloween and winter. I don't know what to do with them. A lot of you guys said to use them as coasters, which I do like the sound of that. Someone said to make almost like a canvas and have the size of this hole put in and then you can like slot them all in. And I was like, oh, I love that. I love that idea. I would have to find like, is it a carpenter or a wood person? Because I wouldn't be able to put a frame like that together but yeah sand and fog 7.99 and absolute go to god my uh my bed is piling up here guys this is good i like this oh we've got a little bit of lip care palmer's cocoa butter spf 15 i love this one because it's got the little bit at the bottom that you twist yeah i'm twisting there's nothing coming up of that one guys that one is well and truly to the ground this i think you pay about what two two fifty Palmers. I probably picked that up for when I was on holiday, actually, because SPF keep your lips subtle and nice. Oh, we've got a little bit more body shop, guys. Ah, oh, the bath blends. Now, I loved these. Not going to lie, they did turn the water really funny colours, especially this one. It isn't as vibrant as it comes out as to when it starts distributing in the water. But these are the bath blends that body shop used to do. The mango and berry. And again, I think these were about 6 six fifty. I feel like I had points to use, and that's why I picked them up, or they might have been in the sale. But, yeah, hydrating bath foams. I would say this one over this one, just because this leaves a questionable colour once the bubbles start to uh, disperse. Let's just say, guys, okay? Ah! 
if you ever see me drinking water and it's not out of like a sippy cup or a bottle or anything like that it will normally be smart water smart water or voss i love them love love love, love them these are oh, smart glacial waters and funny enough this was the water that they actually gave you in iceland so i mean whether it came directly from the springs out there who knows but yeah i do love me waters guys do love them indeed ah and when i'm not interested in the water on its own you know these you see them in pretty much every home bargains haul the strawberry and watermelon h2o juiced these are 99p you also can get them in orange but you know me sometimes i go through hit and misses with water things like smart water and voss i feel are very clean and easy to drink that probably sounds so stupid but you'll know what i mean um some waters i just i get a bad taste with or i feel it's chalky and mm, it's not a bit of me but then sometimes i get very bored of water so i have a little helping hand and as i say home bargains it's not a visit if i don't pick one of them up Let's look. oh we have some more is that the last of them two yes two more dry shampoos we have another tropical and god you can tell that's from a while ago guys that was from a brunette i actually probably could get away with the brunette right now with my roots <laughs> cover up those i seen a photo the other day that i put on um, my instagram all things shannon x and i was like excuse me i did not recognize myself with brown hair it came up on my time hop and i was like oh my god an all over brunette what is going on? I, I couldn't I couldn't work out it was me. I mean, obviously it was me, but yeah, just very, very surreal. Would I ever go back fully brunette? I don't think so, guys. I think that it just ages me. A big and a little. Some micellar water, as I say, because I am using my cloths a lot more. So micellar, but look. <laughs> I got my little travel one and then the big one. These my sellers can be a bit pricey though guys i think the last time i went into boots my sellers are like over a fiver i'm like where are the days when i remember them about 350 and i think the litlands 125 mil so these are like when i go log cabins and hotels because they just need to make them a little bit smaller to 100 then i could take them abroad i think these are about 150 yes i have a thing at the moment i want to try all the micellar water I was going to say flavours or scents, it's none of them, like variations. At the moment, I'm using the vitamin C one, which is the yellow. I always normally have the normal, but there's like a blue one. I think there's an oil one. I want to try and work my way through and see which one works best for my skin. If you use any or any tips that you can give me with them, please do let me know down below, guys. More Femme Fresh. Ah, these are the other ones, actually. So, these are the washes which is the 0% sensitive wash and then this is the active deodorant so if you are someone like if you've gone to the gym or you're going out for a run or whatever the gray and more like neutral toned these are the ones to go for with you with the orangey lid ones they're kind of like your everyday ones oh these were definitely from a, a christmas present the bayless and harding bucology no drama llama bath sprinkles if you remember, I think there's about like five or six in a set that mum normally get. Blueberry Fizz. I do love a bit of bath salts every now and again, guys. Mmm. Actually, that makes me want a slush puppy. <laughs> do I want a slush puppy? Do I want a mulled wine? See, when it's Mother Nature, I just want everything. My head is like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Bayless and Harding. This is probably, guys, the best scent of Bayless and Harding. I need to pick more of this up, actually. You get it in boots. It's about three pound if i remember correctly for 500 mil okay half a liter and it is the white tea and neroli if you see this out give it a whiff this is like the perfect fresh spa like almost love it they do a black marble and a pink marble i'm not too sure of those scents but yeah white tea and neroli definitely pick up from boots if you see it and then we've got a few last little things guys we have another candle pumpkin season actually this one was from the range if i remember a fiver and again i got it just for the lid <laughs> i'm a sucker for a good lid mm. i want my mulled wine is it bad if i actually finish this video and go and do a mulled wine at what's the time 20 past 12 on a saturday afternoon no it's not is it no 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 
The funny thing is, guys, I had a video planned for today, and when it was exporting, it corrupted. And I was like, crap. I woke up this morning and I was like, I can't re-edit it in time. So that's why, sorry that this is late, because as I say, normally Saturdays is 9am, but I woke up and I saw her about half six. I was like, oh no that's not working so this is your little standing and the video that you should have had will be up next week sometime again another yankee one cinnamon spice this one we're going in the winter vibes yep i'm sold i'm gonna have this i'm gonna finish it up have me uh mold wine whilst i'm editing and hopefully it would have actually got up for six o'clock for you guys and then we have a drink by the brand Nisi. Again, you pick these up from Home Bargains. They are a little bit more pricier. They're about $1.50 because I think they're an American export. This one is a peach lemonade. I have also had, I think, the blue lemonade and then a red drink. I can't remember what the red one was called. But yeah, I do like these, those because they're glass bottles. Definitely like gives you the American vibe. And then we have quite a multitude, guys, of Lush. As I say, Lush is like a go-to for Christmases and seasons, so I kind of pick quite a lot up. We have here first a Prince Charming. This is fresh pomegranate juice to seduce your senses while the marshmallow root rescues your skin. This is like a vibrant pink. I don't know if you can see. Can you see that? Pure bubblegum pink. Sticky Dates. I love this one. This was their autumnal one last year, and it was 25% softening date syrup with aromatic vanilla and sweet sandalwood. Oh, Lush, please bring this back next year. Next year? This year? Yeah, 2024. I would love to see that back because that was delicious. Now, this one was very questionable. <laughs> very questionable indeed, but I still used it. This was grass. Who remembers this one? Very fresh. Just like someone's mowing their lawn. I mean, I don't know if I would repurchase this. Maybe if it was on a sale. Because it is nice every now and again to have a nature scented bath. But for me, I was a bit like, mm, I'm glad I didn't get the big bottle in that. I can resist everything but temptation was the red apple shower gel. I love this one. Once again, red apples, citrusy, fruity. I'm here for it. This one, this is the one, guys, that if they do it in the litre, like Snow Fairy... I think I would justify the 30 odd quid to buy it. This is Dirty Spring Wash and it is a rapturous tingle of menthol crystals with a crisp breath of spearmint that tempts you into a galvanising action. It's almost like... Remember polos? Crunching on polos and then bathing in it. I freaking adore this one, guys. This is like me to a T. And then the last thing in here, which I've gone through quite a few, I think I've just started my other new one, is my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Power. That, oh, she went to pan. She went all the way to pan. And would you look at that? I mean, just look, guys. Just look. It's all there. That is the favourites done this is our six monthly in essence favourites done I actually can't remember what I call these I can't remember what I call this video <laughs> summing favourites I know that I think it's just called a huge oh no I think I just call it a huge empties video because it's the empties from the past six months but yes guys if you do enjoy that video you know what to do Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. And leave me a comment. Are any of these bits your favourites? Anything that you've seen that you're like, hmm, I'm going to go and try that. And anything that you haven't seen that you think I'll love, please do let me know down below. But yes, take care, stay safe as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.